This will be a really short video to share my experience and learnings around the use of screwdrivers and adjusting your own watch, uh, in particular expensive watches where you don't want to ruin the screw heads. And the main learning here is you have to be careful what you're purchasing. It's good to do a bit of research first and not jump straight into things. Uh, and this is for those people that want to adjust the, the bracelets on their watches at home themselves without having to perhaps go to their local AD. So specifically for Rolex, that's certainly possible. Here's a, a date just uh, watch, for example, where you can see the screws on the on the bracelet there can be taken out uh, the links can be taken out at home by by yourself and um, the main thing here is to one understand the size of the screw so you can find this out online for example the watch that i just showed you there it's got 1.3 millimeter screws and then you might be tempted to go on amazon and buy something like this or go on ebay and buy something like this where you get a multitude of different width heads and my main learning is to um, approach that with caution because you can see here there's, there's varying head sizes ranging from roughly 1.8 mil down to less than a mil on the left so this one in the middle is is the one which would roughly fit the jubilee bracelet i just showed you but the challenge you've got with screwdrivers like this which are very inexpensive I mean, these were like four pounds or something the challenge you have here is the tolerances to which these screwdrivers are built are very poor i mean there has to be a catch to the price and the metal is very coarse uh, and quite soft and very acute in this example so using something like this which is even if you were told it's a certain size it's probably off um there's a very high chance you'll chew the screw head up on your new expensive watch and also you can see the the acuteness of the point on that is not going to work in your favor because the if you were to explode out the the screw heads shape and size it's kind of shaped it's kind of shaped like that kind of you, you want a screwdriver that fits into um, the gap more like that and less like this because then you've got more chance of wobbling it around so generally you're left with two choices, uh, well three choices. One is you can go and go to the AD and get them to adjust it for you. Uh, two is you can go online and buy specific hollow head screwdrivers. Hollow head would be where they've got a uh, kind of a, a square profile to the head. For some reason they're quite hard to come by in the UK, um, quite expensive, like £20 each. Or you can understand the exact size of the screw and then do a sufficient job of it, of buying the right equipment. So you can buy a high quality screwdriver from a well-known brand like Vera and buy a screwdriver that size appropriately. So this is 1.2 mil for my 1.3 mil screws. And you can see the head of it here. It's still acute, but the metal is exactly 1.2 mil. It's a very hard, well-engineered metal and what that means is when you put the screwdriver in the screw head, you can do so with a very high degree of confidence. You can even feel this, like when you put that, that screwdriver in there, there's a tiny bit of wiggle room, but it's um, when you turn the screw, the screw turns, uh, not the screwdriver, uh, which is what you want. So that's my advice. My advice is either take it to the AD, buy hollow head screwdrivers, or if you want to save some money, buy something like this. This Vera was about uh, three or four pound on Amazon. You'll see the link in the comments below. And uh, one, one thing just to mention before I go, this is 1.2 mil. This is what you need for modern Jubilee bracelets. If you are trying to adjust uh, an Oyster bracelet, then you're gonna need something bigger. You'll need a 1.6 mil screwdriver. Okay, thanks a lot. I hope that helped you, speak to you soon.